So it's the first really hot weekend here uh, in Jersey. It's going to be about 95 degrees in the afternoons. Though hot temperatures in the afternoons usually means warm temperatures at night. So we're going to go out, drop the anchor, and spend some time on the hook. Come on out, join us, and we'll show you how we spend an evening at anchor. Welcome to the Rancocas Creek. The Rancocas Creek is a tributary to the Delaware River and uh, it's navigable for a little ways, a short distance. Uh, we actually can't go too, too far uh, because there are a couple bridges here that eh, maybe we can get under. I don't want to get stuck on the wrong side of them. We've decided to come here uh, now rather than going for a ride because of thunderstorms yesterday. For at least a day or two, maybe even sometimes more, there's going to be a bunch of things floating down the river. Some of them are, are big, it's terrible. So we decided rather than go for a big long ride, why don't we stop, we'll have lunch, we'll relax for a little bit. So we came here and we anchored. And uh, as soon as I anchor, I place a waypoint down when the anchor hits the bottom. And you can see that I've marked my road in 10 foot increments so that I can count how much road I have. I'll watch those marks and know how much road I have out. And I'll typically anchor just for a lunch like this with a three to five to one scope. Wait, scope? What the heck is scope? Well, scope is the length of anchor rope and chain we let out, which is called the road, compared to the water depth measured from the anchor roller. So if we want a five to one scope and it's 10 feet from the roller to the bottom of the water, you would let out 50 feet of road. A common misconception is that it's the weight of the anchor holding the boat, but that's not true. It's primarily the anchor burying that holds the boat in place. If the road is too short, it can cause the anchor to lift instead of dragging flat. This can keep us from getting a good bite, or it can cause the anchor to come unburied and not rebury while at anchor. That is how you drag. A longer road lets the anchor drag flat across the bottom and get a good bite to set itself. So the more wind or current expected, the bigger the scope. A quick stop in calm conditions with a lookout might mean three to one is fine. But a long stay with wind expected or an off-boat excursion might mean we want a full seven to one scope. But remember, the longer the road, the farther we can swing. So we need more space away from the shallows, the shoreline, or other boats. Personally, I like to let the boat nose into the wind and start drifting slowly backward as I let out the road. After my road is out and I feel like we've stopped, I give a shot of reverse to help bury the anchor. And with that little animated detour, we now return to the Rancocas Creek. So we're in about 10 feet of water here, so I put out about 50 feet of anchor road. Tie that off to the cleat so that I am taking the load off of the windlass. And I'll take two sightings as well too. I'll look at like a building and a tree and see if they line up or another tree next to us. Uh, and if we notice that they get out of line, um, then we may be dragging anchor. But we have a nice firm hold right now and so I don't think we're going anywhere for a little while.
Well, the wind has picked up and our anchorage here has gotten rolly on the Rancocas, so I think that's our cue to leave. So we're gonna pull up the anchor here, go for a short little ride in the evening and um, find our way to another protected anchorage where we'll have less wind and we'll actually anchor for the night. Just took a shower. I don't know, there's something weird about taking a nice hot shower um, out in the middle of this. Uh, it's just, I, I think it's awesome. So we came in and the anchor is tied off to the cleat to take the load off of the windlass. I took a couple sightings, I set my anchor alarm, and uh, now we'll kind of settle in. We'll put up an anchor light and we're gonna have some dinner uh, we're gonna watch movies tonight. It's gonna be a great night. Um, I have about six to one, seven to one scope out because uh, you know I want to feel secure overnight that we're not gonna move on the anchor. And it, you know it's not windy. It, it's not. We're not supposed to have any weather, so that might even be overkill. But we have plenty of space around us. No boats around us. So it's better to be safe than sorry and have plenty of road out. When I'm sleeping, I I do want to check and make sure we're not moving. We haven't anchor drag alarm that would go off if we moved um, but I do find myself like waking up in the middle of the night and uh, one of the things that I use is I use a navigation app on my phone and it's it's really accurate and I check like through the middle of the night and, and throughout the night and the app will show the position and I'll set a marker where we are and that way I can see uh, how we're swinging on the anchor and the, make sure that we're not dragging. Pulled up anchor after a wonderful night out on the water. Just a gorgeous night, breeze all night, cool, terrific. Really peaceful and tranquil out here. And another weekend, rest it, rejuvenate it for the week to come. There's another weekend coming, perhaps another adventure. We'll have to see where it takes us.